Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Has there been a lot of shootings over here? How you doing, my brother? A lot of shootings, a lot of killings, even over in Dalton. It's been robbing all of that thing, all of those things. Those are curses. What's a curse? It's, it's identification, basically. The curse in Deuteronomy 28, the Lord identified what's going to happen to us. Exactly. Family. Exactly. And this is one of those curses. Yeah, it says, Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Now, when you look back during the times of slavery, what happened to us? When we was over on the west coast of Africa, what happened? They came and overtook us. The Africans sold us unto the white man. And he said he was going to remove us in the hulls of ships. Exactly. No more. Exactly. And here we are. So here you see all these atrocities happening to us in the cities. What we had to do in the cities? We was cursed in the city. We was cursed to serve hard bondage. We was being whipped and shackled and chained. Forced to say, you seen the, um, what's the roots? You seen roots? You seen a little bit of Roots? You remember the scene where they where they they forced, his name was Kunta Kente, but they forced, they, they changed, they whipped him until he, until he acknowledged the name they gave him, which was Toby. Right. That's being cursed in the city. We are cursed to serve hard bondage. If we move too slow, what they do to us? They cut our hands off. They whipped us until the point of death. Hey, we got the Willie Lynch letter in there. Let's get, let me get that Willie Lynch letter. Uh, read that again. 28 verse 16 Cursed shall thou be in the city And cursed shall thou be in the field It says cursed shall thou be in the field So in the field what were we doing 14, 15, 16 hours a day In a hot sun Picking cotton Picking sugar cane Picking tobacco We was doing this is, this is, Those were curses that was put upon us Are you familiar with that history? That's what happened to us. And what are we reading? We're reading the Holy Bible. That lets us know that this Bible is not a white man's book. This Bible is the book of the Israelites. It's our history. Read. Verse 17. Curse shall, thou, shall be thy basket and thy store. So now it says, curse shall be thy basket and thy store. What, what do you typically do with a basket? My brother, what's your question? You got a question? No, he was saying that what, what tribe are we from? I know we either Benjamin, Levi, or Judah, because the nine tribes were taken out by the Assyrians after, uh, Solomon, after the kingdom was split when Solomon uh, built all them, them temples for all the pagan wives he had. So the Lord split the kingdom, and then Levi went, uh, but then Levi had to come back because he, the priests had to be there when Jesus came. So you know a little bit. So you know a little bit of the history. Yeah, I know we, I know we in this captivity until the Lord comes. Right. So what are we supposed to be doing while we in this captivity? The gospel like you doing. No. What we supposed? What are we supposed to be doing? Preaching the gospel. What are we supposed to be doing before we preach the gospel? What do you mean? What are we supposed to? What? What? Why, why do we go into slavery? Why are we in captivity? Because we broke the commandments of God. Okay, so we broke the commandments, and that's why he sent us into captivity. Right. So what we have to do to get out of the captivity? We have to keep, keep the commandments 
Exactly. So that's what we have to do. Before we come out here and teach, we got to be keeping God's commandments. So it's not about us uh, storing up knowledge and knowing these things. We have to apply. You have to, what's, what's being clean? You have to keep the commandments. Right. So, who are we the priest to? Who are we the priest to? To the Most High God. No, who are we supposed to be bringing back to God? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why we are out here. Gentiles too. No. Where is that at? Give me uh, Matthew 15 and 24. No. Who are the Gentiles? Because you know the history. You know that it was a split in the kingdoms, right? Huh? The Gentiles are the children of Japheth. No. No. Give me, read what you got. Matthew 15 and 24. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. No, hold on, my brother. You made a statement. I want to show you in the Bible because we out here for you. We want to show you okay. that's not the truth. Read. Okay. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ said clearly, he's not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We're going to go to Acts 10. And I'm going to give you the true understanding of that. Yep, let's get that. Give me John 7 and 35 before we get this. John chapter 7 and verse 35. Because the Gentiles were, no, nah, you know what, read this first. And call it a reading, what you read, not a. Because the Gentiles, there's two types of Gentiles. You have the Gentile nations, and what happened to us? Right now, today, you go into Christian church, they tell us we Gentiles. Yeah, but we out of sin. Read. This is the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary, page 195. Gentiles, usually, it means. Wait, you say what? Usually, it means. So, what book is this? is the Zondervan Compact Bible. Even the scholars know this. It says, usually. Usually, read. Usually, it means a non Israelite people. Usually it means a non-Israelite people. No, listen up, my brother. It says usually. Usually it means a non-Gentile people. Is that it? Go, go to John 7 and 35. Listen up, my brother. Listen up, my brother. Listen up, my brother. John 7 and 35. John chapter 7, verse 35. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whether would he go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? Are you listening, my brother? Are you listening? Yeah. Because we just read, Christ said, I came only unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now we're seeing what else Christ said. Read that again from the top. John 7.35. Then said the Jews among themselves, whether will he go that we shall not find him? So this is after Christ made the statement, you're going to seek me, but you're not going to find me. Because he's going to a place that you, that you don't know. So now, read it again. Then said the Jews among themselves, whether will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? And Wait, read that again. Will he go to the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? So Christ said, they, they said, they're talking about Christ. They said, whither will he go among the dispersed? What happened to us? What happened to us? What happened to us? We was put in captivity. And what happened to us when we were put in captivity? We were sold. We were scattered. Yeah. We were scattered amongst the nations, right? Right. We were dispersed among the nations. We have, we right now, we in America, we in Europe, we among all the Gentile nations. So he said, well, we read that last part again. Whether will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? Another word for dispersed is scattered. Will he go among to the scattered, the scattered amongst the Gentiles? Read. And teach the Gentiles? And teach the Gentiles. Give me James 1 and 1. Meaning that he said he going to go into the scattered among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles. Why? Because we were calling ourselves Roman. We was calling ourselves Greek. We were living after their customs. And we're going to continue to prove that. Wait, can I ask a question? Please? Read. No, we're going to deal with the, we're going to finish dealing with the first thing. We, this is the Gentiles. We're going to deal with it. Read. James 1 verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. So the Bible is very clear. It says, James said to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. 
So this Bible is not for the other nations. That's right. This Bible is only for you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's not for these other nations. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.